Hi everyone, welcome to another episode on Miss Kinky T's YouTube channel and I know, I know, I know I've been gone for a while, but I do have a perfect explanation. I'm 17 weeks pregnant, yay! So you can't really tell because this thing goes up and down, but this is actually a baby bump that don't look like a baby bump, but I am 17 weeks pregnant y'all. I am expecting a little girl and we are so excited and first trimester has been absolutely terrible I mean in terms of nausea I had that for the first 12 weeks and then once 12 weeks hit the actual throwing up started which by then is supposed to start going away no absolutely not that's when my throwing up started heartburn I think heartburn is like my worst issue I have to sleep uh, sitting up now I have to like try to avoid acidic foods the best I can and then it's like rule number one when you're pregnant is stay hydrated with water water makes me sick y'all it makes the heartburn even worse so I've had to find water substitutes you know how hard it is to find water substitutes I've tried waters I've never even heard of I had maple water there's a maple water okay um, I think in the end, I've concluded I can have coconut water. And I guess since, thanks to some challenge, it's hard for me to find the coconut water I want, okay? So, it just, it's, it's been a struggle, y'all. I haven't been doing my hair, so there hasn't been anything for me to record to show you guys. So, I mean, I am literally have been doing my hair in two weeks, I mean, not two weeks, excuse me, in two month intervals. The uh, last time I did my hair was February 9th. And I think before that, it was December. That's how bad my first trimester has been. So I'm so sorry if y'all was looking for content, but I had did not have the energy nor the health to pull this off. So I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to come back, but I'm so, so sorry. Okay? And then um, if you guys are interested in videos like me going through my pregnancy and all that, just let me know down in the comments. I can probably start some of those now that my energy is a little bit better than where it was, but I just needed y'all to know. I didn't forget about y'all, I didn't, it's just. <laughs> it wasn't working, it wasn't working, okay? Let it breathe. Um, I have washed my hair, okay, and I actually washed my hair with my Made by Somi. I have been using this for at least a year for my skin because it's great for my dark spots. And I knew you could use it for a shampoo, but I never tried. But she got this pump now, and I don't know why I was so excited about this pump, but I was like, today's the day. I'm about to use it as a shampoo, and it was excellent. Like, it was cutting through everything that's been in my hair for the last two months. I did wash twice just because it was two months, but I really didn't feel like I needed to. So if you guys are looking for something that can go in your hair and it's good for your skin, this Made by Somi is for you and I will put it in the uh, description, okay? Totally for that, okay? Um, so I am going to go ahead real quick and go to the clip of me making the Cardi B mask. I didn't have everything like she did um, for some reason, so I just want to show you guys how I made it, okay? So I'm clipped to that. Okay, y'all, so we are going to get this mask going. I am going to be using my Ninja because we are Team Ninja in this house. No neutral bullets. So in this plate, I have chopped up two whole avocados and two bananas. Um, I doubled up on the recipe to make sure I cover, you know, enough of my hair. Okay, next I am going to add my egg. I am only going to do one egg. Um, because I don't want to do kind of like a protein overload on my low porosity hair. Uh, and please ignore all this construction in the background. We are remodeling our kitchen. Just got our new countertops. So we got to do our backsplash. I am going to add a big glop of mayo. Don't even know how I got mayo in my house because I am clearly Team Miracle Whip. Definitely 
at capacity on this thing. And I'm gonna add in the honey, which my hair loves, so I'll probably add a little more than she did. It's probably about a quarter cup. Now she said olive oil in the video, but she clearly had avocado oil <laughs> displayed. So I'm just gonna actually add both because oil don't hurt me. Extra virgin olive oil for anybody who cares. Next, I only have a little bit left of my Jamaican black castor oil. So I don't bite as much as I used to because it breaks out my skin. So unfortunately, whatever I can get out of here, which looks like nothing. I might grab another oil to replace that. And then I also don't have argan oil because you guys know I typically try to avoid the nuts because of my husband's allergies. So right now I'm going to put in black seed oil from As I Am. About two tablespoons of that. Okay, so we're gonna just try with what I have because this cup is clearly <laughs> overloaded already. Right. I'm get this blended up. And then once I blend it up, I think I'm actually going to strain my mixture in a nut bag just because I want to double check to make sure I don't have any lumps in my mask because ain't nobody trying to spend their day trying to get avocado out their hair, okay? Clearly made enough mass. <laughs> Don't have to worry about running out. This is what we're looking like. Super smooth. Um, again, like I said, just to be safe, I'm actually going to blend this up again on my smoothie option. And then I'm going to put it through a nut bag. Okay, so I'm gonna take my nut bag, I'm gonna put it in this bowl. Okay, I'm gonna pour my mixture in here. All of it. Ooh, it's thick. All right, I need a spoon. Knife, something that's thick. Definitely gonna have plenty of mass with this. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze this out into the bowl. Definitely gonna be a messy process. But you do what you can not to get chunks in your head. All right, so I have squeezed everything out. It took me about five or six minutes. And there's, there's stuff still in this bag, so I'm glad oh, that's not in my hair. But for the most part, most of everything has come out. Please use a big bowl because this squeezing process is very messy. I've already got a little bit outside the bowl. So. Alright, that's good enough. It's definitely more than a whole container of conditioner we buy from the store. So I think I'm all set. <laughs> Alright, so I am going to go wash my hair and then I'm going to apply. Okay, so we are back and this is my final product. I put it in the refrigerator while I wash my hair, but y'all, I really think that nut bag makes such a difference in terms of smoothness, like this stuff is so smooth. And we're just gonna go ahead and put it in. And I have tons of this, so y'all might see me go ham. My whole head might be green. Yeah, like I got tons of this. I want to say I got like a good 16 ounces. Yes. So it is smoothing on nicely. And my 
hair is kind of cold from waiting from the wash so hopefully this sinks in well but I am going to use my heat cap so that won't be a problem I'm doing my hair because I am getting my ends trimmed tomorrow y'all I think I might the last time I got my ends trimmed was July okay and it was because of COVID you know I was trying to avoid you know seeing a lot of folks that was outside my household but I did not know it was that long y'all until I looked at my phone it's like oh snap and I know my ends have been getting bad I've been seeing them get bad I have been using a honey's handmade butter on my ends for the last couple of weeks that I think has been helping um, I'll probably talk about that in another video when I'm trying out the rest of their products but thank god for it because it would have just got worse and it's not totally um like a detangler so for those who care for DIYs probably look into some um, marshmallow root or some slippery elm if you're looking for some slip That's enough for this part. And I can smell the banana and the avocado. Smells so good. Smelling like a smoothie. Okay. Alright, I am going to go ahead and speed this up so you guys don't have to watch all this. And then I am going to sit under my heat cap for about 30 minutes to an hour. We'll see how it goes and then we will come back and discuss the results. Okay everyone, I am back to conclude this video. So basically I put the rest of the mask in and I used a good amount of it. Like this is the only thing left. <laughs> so I used all that mask I made. Um, and then I put on my heat cap for about 40 minutes and then I just finished rinsing it out. I really like how my hair felt as I was rinsing it. And even as that's all over, my hair still feels very soft and I did feel some strengthening from it. Um, I did pull, I just pulled out a thread or a thread, a hair, and it does have some elasticity to it. So if you are looking for that, this mask is good for that. But I can definitely see myself doing this mask again. Um, I did a avocado mask in the past and I wasn't like stoked about it um, but clearly she knew some more ingredients than I did and I am very 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 happy with this mask and I suggest you guys try it out again I think that there has there is nothing left in my hair everything rinsed out great and all in all I'm just I'm just very happy all right Cardi B you do got all that hair I guess you know what you're doing a little bit all right, so thank you guys for joining me for trying out this mask. And then I am gonna try to, you know, record some more videos now. And I'll let you guys know how the pregnancy is going, but about to go ahead and get this hair blow dried and straighten it and get it ready for getting my ends clipped tomorrow. Now I've been thinking, and I just wanna tell you guys in case it shows up later. Now you guys already know I have damage a lot of it. It on this side of my hair right here and I've been trying to think about hairstyles that will allow me to just get rid of this and keep the rest of my hair um, so the best thing I can come up with basically is to have like one of like a side part and then a big swoop bang but cuts shorter I think it'll look better like if you know I get the ends colored but basically just like a swoop like that so I'll let you guys know what um, my beautician says because I don't want y'all to see me later and be like, why this part of your hair just in right here? Because we cut this mess off, okay? Okay? All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead, finish this hot mess up, and then I will catch you guys next time. Bye.